What is going on guys? Welcome back. Comment here for I want to kind of show you a recap of what's happened in the past. Sometimes players spoke out about the Madden ratings, not just on Twitter, but collectively. I wanted to start the conversation though. ESPN clip from Madden 10 where Donnie Moore talks about how the ratings are actually formulated. I mean, the player ratings, the way they're uh, determined, we watch almost every single game of every single year. We get NFL reports and scouting reports straight from the NFL sources. And we basically read as much information as we possibly can. And it all starts off, obviously, when they come into the league as a rookie. You know, we have all the combine reports. We have all of the scouting reports from those organizations. So we, you know, we kick it off where they get drafted. And then from there, their player statistics and how they do on the field is going to determine their rating in Madden and the future versions of Madden. With this next clip, they talk about changing a player's rating before the game is released, something we've actually just saw happen this year with Madden 19. Would you a change TJ it comes before, in though? Uh, no, we have no plans to change the rating right now. We no. feel that TJ is um, being portrayed in the game very uh, accurately with his attributes. So with this next clip, they bring in TJ Husmanzada, who at the time is not complaining about his overall rating, but just his speed rating. What I want you to pay attention to is how Donnie and Ian actually react to him being upset about the overall value. It's not right. Yeah, I heard everything they just said. They're not right. They're not telling the truth. If they are telling the truth, the information they're getting is wrong. So in this next clip, Donnie actually goes on to talk about the number of ratings and how they want specification of what exactly is wrong. And this is where Husmanzada starts to bring up his speed rating and where he has the issue. There's 50 ratings that we got to get okay. absolutely accurate. So you got you to gotta pinpoint which ones are wrong for us. So here you're going to listen to Donnie and TJ argue over where his speed rating actually stemmed from. I mean, four six one combine. Obviously, that was years ago, so we won't we won't no, hang, hey, hang on to you too look, long for that. I'm gonna cut uh, you off. I'm gonna cut you off. Okay, right go now. ahead. Shoot, shoot. I got some more stats for you. Hey, 100 percent wrong. Bet your bank account. That is not that four six one oh. combine. 100 percent wrong. So this next clip, very interesting to me at least, to listen to them talk about stretching out the ratings and how Hushman's auto was very high in certain attributes, being at a 96, 97. When we think about the game now. They have not done this. They've actually went the opposite direction. We've got so many 90 and 99 overall players, it's really hard to distinguish them. So it's interesting the contradiction that they're actually stating now and how it makes the game more realistic. Years before, we've kind of given the benefit of the doubt to players. So they might have, you know, looked good on one play or maybe a couple plays during the season. So we're like, okay, give him 90 speed. This year with Madden NFL 10, we wanted to really hit on the strengths and the weaknesses of the player like never before. You're rated 97, 96, and 98, and I believe in all three of those categories, which is top three in the league, which makes you that 91 overall. Okay, now, now I want to go back to the combine, 461. Who gave you that information? <laughs> We, uh, we scour the we scour the uh, the internets for the uh, for those types of uh, information. That was obviously like five or six years ago. So we did this with every single player in the league. We lowered everybody down. We stretched out the ratings, so the elite players are still there, but there's a lot less a lot less of them. And to close this out, and really what made this interview so well known is TJ closes this interview out by establishing he actually never ran at the combine, and their information was incorrect. EA Sports, thank you, man. Tell them to get your information correct, man, because I did not even run at the combine, man. I just had to throw that to you, man. So this next clip, it kind of went under the radar, but it's actually Kerry Rhodes talking about his throw power as a former quarterback against Nick Mangold in the game, and he goes through some exercises to show he's a better thrower. I'll talk to you about my throwing power. I don't know if you knew I was a college quarterback and a high school quarterback, so I have a little bit more power than what you gave me. I think you gave me a 21. That's, that's not too good. The real beef I had was you gave one of my good teammates, Nick Mangle, and he plays center. He can't throw the ball five yards, and you got his power higher than mine. To prove that I got more throwing power than Nick Mangle, I brought him here today. And it will be TBD. All right, we're here at the end zone, and I'm going to let Nick go first to test his strength out. So let's see. I'm going to show you how it's done real quick. Ooh. I'm about to show you why man wrong. Right. Oh, crap. WTF, man. What? I mean, come on now. So before Twitter was kind of the go-to thing, this is what we saw players do. I personally like this a little bit more, a little bit more interesting, and obviously leads to a little bit better results. But I'd love to know what you guys think about this and where the ratings are today in terms of making adjustments. Appreciate you checking this video out, and you know I'll be back in the week with more commentary.